guys. It's me, Zena. Nice to have you all here at Synergy. This is um, it's kind of my life's work, uh, this place. We've been in here 15 years now. Yikes. Uh, so this fast, uh, we've got, I work with lots of these people here, which is so fabulous for me, lucky me, and I'm um, just going to keep on growing. I love to keep on growing. That was the point of this whole Pilates Rounds idea was to keep us growing together um, and learning from each other. Perfect. My name is Alexa. Kind of, um, Nick Daisy's like a fun nickname. That's my favorite flower. <laughs> um, I just recently became certified as a Pilates instructor in LA out of love for Pilates. Um, so honoring, you know, the classical Joseph style of movements. And then we add in, you know, a little bit of fun athletic stuff too, but really keep it Pilates oriented. Um, I got a job offer in March for the studio and then everything shut down. So I decided to just keep teaching virtually and I wanted to make sure that everybody was still moving, make it um, easy and accessible for everybody. So yeah, I'm excited to be your instructor today. Yeah, like I usually do a little uh, intro tidbit if, if that's okay. Or oh. Yeah, whatever intro tidbit, I'm, I'm open. So yeah, I'd love to see it and hear it. Okay, so my, I've been, most of you know, I've been theming my classes every week. So this week I've been talking about connecting, uh, connecting back to your center, really. Um, I spent the first one of my classes talking about front back connection and the other one talking about midline squeeze. So the one that I actually like to play with more is the midline squeeze idea. And so um, we do a lot with the inner thighs. But one of my favorite ways to just feel that connection is um, taking a ball. Or you could do it with a ring if you wanted to, but a ball. I like the ball better because it's not too fat or too wide. And I will put it here in between my inner thighs. And then I am mostly parallel on my feet and I start with just a little tiny squeeze inward. So just a squeeze in and then a release. And I tell my students, I'm like, this is one of those exercises where if you really don't want to do the work, you can get away with it because I can't really see how hard you're squeezing or not <laughs> on this one exercise. But yeah, it's that feeling of squeeze and then the feeling of taking that squeeze up into the lower abdomen and up through the body. So if I squeeze and collect to the middle, I, can, I have a lot more freedom. I have a lot of ability to hold here, feel really nice and stable as I'm going through. So I've been working with them on standing squeeze and lifting up. We've done it um, this way. I've been encouraging a lot of the feeling like the heels are pulling in, although they're not. So feeling that my heels pull towards midline also really helps activate through the feet. So I get feet, arches lifting, toes lifting, inner thighs going and coming up and slowly down and up and down. And I've been taking that into um, little squats as well. So up, heels down, sitting back for squat, but keeping that nice same connection through the body and then coming up. So I just really like how this sets up my whole body. Um, it's a great way to end a class, I feel like, because you can connect them through, get them up and tall, and then have them walk out in their perfect posture, hopefully. Um, so anyway, that's my little tidbit for today, is midline squeezing with the ball. I love it. Beautiful. All right, everybody. Um, so let's actually um, start seated with our um, ankles crossed. Um, if you want your legs out in front of you, you can too. Um, I just want to take a lateral stretch first. So let's let the left hand come to the mat and then let the right arm go overhead. Just feeling a nice stretch. Really start to draw the navel into the spine. We want to start to get the core warmed up even though we're stretching. And then let's come through center. And then let's just take that lateral flex right away on the right side. And then we'll bring it up to um, center again. Let's start to T circle those arms. So let's make sure the shoulders are nice and rolled back. The spine is stacked nice and tall. Navel is drawn in. So I don't know if you guys saw my theme today, the triple A's, um, the abs, the arms and the booty, which is technically a B. I didn't know if I should 
say that word on here. <laughs> Keep the fingertips pointed nice and long. Beautiful, ladies. And then we're going to reverse those arm circles right away. Sometimes I do like to um, just pump gravity. Um, and you can, um, I, sorry, I forgot to mention, I do have a booty band by me and some weights. Definitely not needed, but if you have those, feel free um, to include them. We'll hold the arms out to a T. Let's just rotate that spine to the right. Finding that nice stretch. And then we'll draw it through center, then we'll rotate to the left side. Coming back through center. All right, so let's go supine. So we're gonna lie on our back. Let's start to get the core warmed up. Finding that nice neutral spine. We're gonna have the feet evenly weighted on the mat, knees about hip distance apart. Let's just bridge those hips up high to the sky to start with. Squeezing the glutes when you get to the top. And then we'll lower it down. Just tap the mat with the booty and then lift back up. Find that nice um, speed that works for you. You don't want to go too fast. But just lifting up and then letting the glutes hit the mat and then drawing it back up. Working on that spinal stability with the bridge. Squeeze. And then on your next one, let's hold the hips up high to the sky. And then let's start to pulse the hips up and up. Really squeeze the booty. Make sure the feet stay evenly weighted here. We're gonna pulse it up for three, two. Hold the hips high the sky at the top. Let that left leg come up to the sky. Hold your hips up, then we're gonna lower that leg and then bring it up. If you wanna add a flex and a point to the toe, you can. I like to point on the way down and then flex on my way up. And really think about using those low abs to scoop that leg back in. We're gonna go in for three, two, and then set the foot down after your last one, keep the hips high. We're gonna go in that right leg right away. We're gonna lower it and lift, adding that flex in a point. Keep breathing. We're gonna go in for three, last two, one, hold those hips up, last set of pulses. We're gonna go pulse it up and up with the hips. Last thing here, we're gonna go in for three, two, one. Slowly come down to the mat, letting the booty hit and then letting the rest of the top of the spine melt onto the mat. Letting the legs come up to table, flexing the feet, arms come up to 90. Let's chest lift up. Grab the right leg into your chest, let the left leg go long and we'll switch. So we're gonna go into our series of five. Modification would be to keep the head on the mat, but try to keep the shoulders lifted if you can. Really draw the navel into the spine, get that core fired up. The hips are squared off, the tailbone is weighted. Good job. All right, we're gonna do three more on each side. I'm going in for my last one. Bring both knees into the chest. Let the legs and the arms go over, or sorry, let the legs extend, arms go overhead, and then circle the arms back to meet your knees to your chest. Double leg stretch. Beautiful. I always like to think about when I scoop the abs in, like when I'm at an ice cream parlor and there's a fresh batch of ice cream and then they're taking that ice cream scoop and they're rolling it across the ice cream. It's kind of the same sensation we want to do with our lower abs when we bring in the knees. We're going to go in for three, last two, and one. Let the legs come up to 90. Lower that left leg, pulse, pulse the right leg into your chest. Going in for those scissor switches. Keep a nice fluid breath flowing. Get that internal shower going, cleaning out the lungs. Pulse, 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 pulse. Again, finding that scoop, bringing that leg in. Beautiful job. All right, we're gonna go in for three more on each side. 
I'm on my last one. Keep legs to 90 on your last one. Lower them like a drawbridge. Lift them up. You can put your hands behind your neck if you need a little extra support. Or the hands behind the low back. The lower that you go with that 45, the harder it will be. So find that range of motion. All right, we're going to do three, two. After the last one, legs come into table, hands behind your neck, interlace your fingers, twist to the left, let the right leg go long, and we'll switch. Think about keeping these nice, slow, and controlled. Finding that oblique twist, coming to center, and then hitting the other side. Keep breathing. Anytime you don't hear me talking, I'm just trying to catch up with my breath. So I apologize. I'm sure you guys all know what it's like when you're teaching and doing it at the same time. All right, let's hold this next one to the left. Oblique pulse it up. So keep that right leg long, curling to the left. If you're on the right side, it's okay, we'll switch. We're gonna pulse it up for three, two. Hold that lift, lower and lift that right leg up and down. Adding a little bit more fire here. Keep the shoulder lifted if you can. We're gonna go in for three, two. Hover that heel two inches from the mat. Pulse it, little movements down and up. Pulsing that heel, keeping that lift. Going in for three, two. Switch to the other side. Oblique pulsing to your other side. Finding that breath, we're going to go in for three, two, hold it, lower and lift that leg. Use those low abs to scoop the leg back up. We're going to go in for three, two, hover that heel, pulse that heel up. We're gonna go in for three, two, one. Bring it back down, legs come to table, arms up at 90, chest lift up, start pumping your arms, you're going in for your hundreds, you're gonna inhale for five, and you're gonna exhale for five. Keep going with the breath. Inhaling for five, and exhaling for five. Very good, we're gonna inhale, and exhale. We're about halfway there, inhaling for five, and exhaling. Take another inhale again, and exhale it out. Finding that inhale, and that exhale. Almost done, inhaling for five, and exhaling for five. Last one, one more inhale, and exhale. Lay it down, bring the knees into your chest, rock side to side if you want. All right, hopefully everybody's a little warm. Let's come on to our side. So I'm gonna go on my left hip to start. Um, I'm gonna add a little booty band. No worries if I'm just working gravity, all good. I'm gonna stack the hips nice and tall. Think chest out, tail out. If you wanna be on your forearm, you can. Otherwise, you can come down onto the mat, letting that arm go ahead of you. Finding that lift. Let's just start with a nice lift and lower. Now, very important here. So we want to keep, think chest out, tail out. Hips are stacked. Squeeze the booty in nice and tight. So it's almost like you're holding a $100 bill wedged in between your booty. Keep them glued together. We don't want to lose that money. A nice lift. Think about that top leg going long. So you were lifting that oblique in those ribs up from the mat. We're gonna go in for three, two. Hold it up, little pulses up. Nice job, everybody. 
Going up for three, two, one. Hold it. Sweep that leg forward. Draw it back. So point the toes on your sweep forward. Flex the foot on the way back, opening up the calf muscles a little bit. Think of your upper body like an anchor. So we want to stay in control and just moving through that leg. Draw that navel in to your spine. Ribs should be knitted, keeping that back nice and flat. We don't want to arc here. We're going to go in for three, two. Hold the last one out, just little pulses up. Keeping that sweep forward, we're going to pulse up. Going in for three, two, one. Bend at the knee, lift up into that hydrant. Oh yeah, these are always, no matter how many times you do them, I swear you can always feel a little something, something there. Gonna lift it up. And you can keep the bottom leg stacked into that tabletop or you can let the leg go long, whatever works for you. We're gonna go in for three, two, holding that last one, pulsing it up. Clean out the lungs, keep with the breath. We're gonna go in for three, two, one. Keep that knee bent, going in for some knee circles. Doesn't matter which way you start, we'll definitely hit the reverse. All right, let's reverse it. Beautiful job. Keeping the booty squeezed nice and tight. Navel's drawn in, chest out, tail out. We're gonna go in for three, two, one. But let both legs go long. Point the toes, so almost imagine like you're wearing a nice mermaid fin. Let that top leg come up. Lift from that bottom leg. Let's get into those inner thighs. So kind of imagine that almost like you're an alligator chomping at the bit. Top leg stays stacked. Just lifting up from the bottom leg. Beautiful. Let's go in for three, two. Hold this bottom leg up, pulse it up. Nice job. We're gonna go in for three, two, one. Ooh. Let's stack it up nice and tall. You can take that band off for now. We can just set it to the side. Let's get into a little more arms. Um, if you wanna grab your weights, you can. Otherwise, we'll just pump gravity. I'm in a mermaid position. So I have my left foot crossed, and then I have my right shin facing out away from me. Spine is stacked nice and tall. Let's just start with some low biceps. So elbows to the hips, bicepping up. Remember, we still have our core drawn in. Even though we're just working on the arms, we still wanna keep the core engaged, stacking that spine nice and tall. If you wanna add on, you can keep your biceps up here, keeping the arms at shoulder height. Whatever your body's feeling today, definitely just listening to it. Let's go in for three, two, one. Let's flip the mermaid. So I'm gonna cross at my left, or sorry, cross at the right, let the left shin out. I'm gonna go into some goal post here. Arms go wide. And then we wanna make sure just to keep the chest nice and still. We don't wanna push it out. Sometimes at the gym, there's that big pec flex in it. You just want to keep the spine nice and stacked. Back is nice, flat like a drawbridge at the top. Let's add on here. So I'm going to open up, arms go overhead, drop in, close, open, arms go overhead. Nice job, everybody. All right, after this, we're gonna go in for four. Keep the breath flowing. One more after this. 
All right, nice job. Let's set the weights down if you have them. Let's knock out that booty work on the other side. So I'm gonna put my band back on. Finding that nice alignment. Hips are stacked. And then we'll start with just that lift and lower to begin. I did. Sorry. My phone is connected to my computer. I got to turn that ringer off. <laughs> All right, sticking with the lift and lowers. Drawing the navel in. We still got that $100 bill wedged in between our booty. Don't let it go anywhere. All right, we're going to hold it up. On three, two, add that pulse. We're going to pulse it up and up. Nice job, everybody. All right, let's add that sweep. Point the toe, sweep it forward, flex the foot, draw it back to center. And we're keeping the upper body nice and anchored. Squeezing the booty cheek as you draw that leg back. Nice job, just a few more. All right, let's go in for three. And then we're gonna hold this next one up, pulse it forward, sweep that foot up. Squeezing the booty. We're gonna go in for three, two, one. Bend at the knee, lift and lower, going into our hydrants. If you have a band on, really make sure to lift up to find that resistance. Otherwise, if no band, just working against that gravity, resisting that return on the way down. And then if we need to modify, we can let that right arm go long. We can lay on it on the mat too. Let's go in for three. Hold this next one up, pulse it up. Checking here, making sure we still have that chest out, tail out connection, navel drawn in. Going in for three, two, start to draw those knee circles. Beautiful. All right, just a couple more, then we'll reverse it. And we'll go in for that reverse. Hope you're feeling some good things down there. All right, let's go in for three, two, and one. Let the top of the legs go long, hovering that top leg. Ooh, almost lost my connection. Top leg hovers, lift that lower leg, getting into those thighs. Keep it out of the back. Sometimes the back wants to get involved on this one. Really draw that navel in, squeeze the booty tight, keep it through the core. All right, let's go in for a few more, and then we'll do our pulses. Top leg against that band if you have that band on. Let's go in for three, two, hold it up, pulse it up. Beautiful, we're gonna go in for three, two, one. Whew. Taking that band off if you have it, you ladies can take a child's pose. I'm just gonna grab a quick thing of water here. Coming up from that child's pose. Let's come into that quadruped. Step the feet back, gonna go into that plank. Making sure that the tailbone is tucked in. We want the arms underneath the shoulders. Got that neck nice and long with the spine. Let's add on here, let's add our pike if your body's up to it. Heels are lifted, feeling that stretch. Coming back down to a plank. So going from a plank to a pike here. Find that nice flow for you. Making sure to hold, you know, the plank for a moment, holding that pike, coming down, drawing it up. You don't want to arch the back here. We want to keep it like a draw bridge. All right. Let's go in for one more plank to pike. Holding the pike up. Let's let that left leg go up, set it down. Let the right leg go up, set it down. So we'll just do a little switcheroonie here. 
from each leg. Gaze should follow where the neck needs to lie to be in line with that spine. We're gonna go in for three more on each side. And if this doesn't feel good, just hold that plank. All right, we got one more. Beautiful, coming down to the knees. Let that right knee come out in front of you, making sure the knees in line with the ankle. Just find that nice runner's lunge stretch. Beautiful, drawing that core in, find that balance, plant that back foot coming on up to our lunge. Ooh. Let's just make sure um, we have our right knee forward, making sure the right knee's in line with that ankle. Let's just do little pulses through that right knee so that left leg is back straight. If you need a slight bend in that back knee, that works here. We still have that $100 bill wedged in between our booty. Keep the glutes nice and tight. Roll the shoulders back. Hands can be a prayer on your hips or even out to a T. Let's go in for three, two. Hold that lunge, hinge forward. Arms go behind you. Let's just pump gravity. Let's get those triceps knocked out. Really bend and extend those arms nice and long. And if the lunge isn't working out for you, you can always um, come to seated and then you can hinge forward that way. Arms go along behind you and squeeze, pumping gravity. Let's go in for three, two, and one, coming back up. Let's do a plie squat. So we're gonna externally rotate those feet, tucking that tail in, arms go out, Let's um, bend at the knees, pretend that you're um, going in between two walls, keeping that back nice and straight. I'll let you ladies choose what you wanna do with the arms. If you wanna add a little swing, you can. Otherwise, prayer hands are good here too. We're just keeping them at the hips. Whatever feels lovely. Squeeze your booty when you bring that squat back up. Nice fluid breaths. Keep the gaze long. I was being naughty. I was staring at my screen. We want to keep the neck nice and long with the spine. Let's go in for three. We're going to hold that last one down. Pulse it out. Gaze is forward. Work those quads. Tailbone is tucked in. Back is nice and straight like a drawbridge. We're gonna go in for three, two, one, flip the lunge so that left leg goes long, or sorry, left knee bent, and then we have the right leg long. Finding that nice balance here, let's just start to do a little pulse into that left knee. Finding that swift movement. Keep the core engaged still. $100 bill is still in our booty. Glutes are nice and tight. That's our favorite cue at the studio. So that's why we, <laughs> that one loves to come out. Um, let's go in for three, two. Hold that lunge. Hinge forward at the torso. Lost my balance. Arms go behind you, nice and long, and then squeeze at the elbows, getting into those triceps. Beautiful job. All right, let's go in for four. Last two, one, pivot to center. One more round of so uh, squats. Feet externally rotate. Finding that nice plie. Tailbone is tucked in. How low can you go? Definitely listen to the body. Down and up. 
keep the feet evenly weighted on the mat. We don't want to press into the big toe or the pinky toe too much. All right, let's do three. You know we're going to pulse it after our last one. Hold it down, pulsing it out. I like to put my hands in prayer for pulsing. They work at the hips. But find whatever's comfortable for you. We're pulsing in between two imaginary walls, one ahead of us, one behind us. Back is nice and straight. Going in for three, two, one. Come down to that runner's lunge on the other side just so we even it out. So left knee forward. Just finding that little stretch. Nice job. That knee's in line with the ankle. All right, let's come to our quadruped position. And then we're gonna back up the knees a little. Cross at the ankles, let the elbows go wide, come into that push-up. It's almost like a modified plank push-up in a way. If you wanna do a full-on regular push-up, feel free. I'm gonna stay right here. Elbows go wide. We're gonna go in for four. All right, two more. And then one, both feet go long, coming back into that plank again. Tailbone tucked. Think about drawing your knees, or sorry, bending the knees, letting the upper body come back, and then pushing out. So kind of like jackrabbit a little bit when we're on the reformer, bending at the knees, letting the upper body go long. I like to pretend I'm shooting out of a cannon when I extend my legs long, finding that length, finding that flow. Let's go in for three more, two, and then one. Take that child's pose for a second. Letting the arms go up nice and long. Maybe even closing the eyes, take a nice inhale in. And exhaling it out. We'll go for one more inhale in. And exhaling out. Slowly walk the arms back towards you. We're gonna to come to a kneeling position. So depending on the surface, if you need a little more cushion, you could roll up your mat to add a little padding for the knees. Grabbing weights if you want, or just pumping gravity, we're gonna go back into those arms. So let's do a little bit of a chest expansion. So actually I'm gonna to come to a standing kneeling, makes it a little easier. Um, think about your hands starting right by your hips. Keep the arms long, drawn back, come to hips back, hips. Keep the shoulders and the traps down. We don't want to pike up at the ear. Arms are nice and long. Beautiful. All right, we're going to go in for three. Gaze is nice and long. Hold this last one back, pulse it back. So imagine giving little high fives to someone behind you, pulsing it back. Now keep the core engaged. We have our spine stacked super tall. You still have that $100 bill wedged in between the booty. Glutes are activated. Let's go in for three, two, one. Let's add a little bow and arrow arms here. So let the left arm go long, right arm, is, or sorry, right elbows by your hips. Weight is kind of in your chest. Twist to the right as that right arm extends long behind you. Kind of like a bow and arrow, drawing it back in. Switch sides. Right arm goes out, left arm goes back. Adding in that rotation. Nice job. Whew. All right, let's do two more on each side. A 
I'm on my last one. I'm just going to put my weights down because I've been doing a lot of arm circles, but you guys keep the weights in your hands. So come back on your heels. Let's do those T arms again. We're going to add on here. Press up into that kneeling. Use the quads. Come back down. Lift it up. So if you just want to keep kneeling and do T arms, that's totally cool. Adding this little knee up, knee down. Just firing up the quads a little more. Add a, like, a little more heat. Keeping that back nice and in line. Squeeze the booty when you kneel up. Squeeze it, there you go. All right, ladies, we're going to reverse it and then draw it up. Sorry, I meant to say reverse the arms. Keep the internal shower going. Keep cleaning out the breath. All right. We're going to go in for three. This is our last two. Last one. Let's meet at kneeling. Ooh, arms go down. Let the right leg go out long. Let the left arm come to the mat. Take a nice stretch. Letting that right arm go up overhead. Whew. Think of your knee, your left knee is like an anchor. Let's lift that right leg up to the sky, holding it. Let's add our knee to elbow, extend, knee to elbow, extend. If this doesn't work for you, you can come lying on the mat like we were in the beginning of class into that sideline. And then you can do this there. We're gonna go in and out. Squeezing the biceps, squeezing the hammies and the quads when you bring them in, letting them go long, feeling that nice stretch. Three, two, one, hold it up. Ooh, little pulses up here. Point the toes, just little teeny tiny movement. We're gonna go in for three, two, one. Let that right arm, or sorry, let the right leg go down. Okay, put the fingertips at the shoulders. We're gonna do a little oblique work. So twist down to the left. Use that oblique to draw yourself back to center. Lifting it up. So the right leg is out long. That left knee's bent, anchoring us. Fingertips at the shoulders just helps keep that collarbone nice and wide and open. Let's go for three two hold this last one down halfway little teeny tiny movements from the oblique really draw the navel in keep it out of the back let's go in for three two one switching sides so left leg goes long right arm comes down just taking that nice stretch keeping that right arm in line with the shoulder anchoring that right knee Top leg comes up, knee to elbow, letting it go long, feeling that stretch, squeezing, bringing the knee to elbow in, firing up the quads, the hammies, the arm muscles, core is drawn in, ribs are knitted, Pilates corset is on. Everyone's doing great. We're gonna go in for three, Hold the leg up on this last one. Little teeny tiny pulses up and up. You can keep the hand up your hip or let it go up top, whatever floats your boat. We're gonna go in for three, two, one. Letting the left leg come down. Finding that nice oblique um, curl again. Fingertips to shoulders. Going down, bringing it up. Nice job, everybody. Collarbone is nice and wide, kind of like we're showing off a nice sparkly necklace. First night out after the big quarantine, showing it off. 
Let's go in for three. Holding this last one down, pulse it up. Little teeny tiny movements. Nothing too crazy, really draw the oblique in. Ooh. We're gonna go in for three, two, one. Kneeling it down, let's lie on our tummies. Doing some prone work. Letting the legs go long. Really squeeze the booty tight. So we really wanna find that neutral spine connection. We want to have our navel lifted, so it's almost like there's a little blueberry resting underneath us. It's our snack, so we can't squish it. Letting the chest come down to the mat. Elbows by your side. Draw the navel in. Squeeze the booty. Lift up into that chest expansion. Lifting the chest off the mat. Drawing it up. Making sure not to arch the back, and then we'll lower it down. Take a nice inhale in, lift it up, and lower it. Another inhale in, lifting it up. All right, lifting that chest up, let's add our, our kick. So I'm gonna add a kick, kick with my uh, right leg, bring it down to the mat. Adding that kick, kick on the left side, drawing it down. If you wanna add a hover, kick, kick, you can do that. Kick, kick, getting the hammies and the glutes fired up even more. Kick, 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 kick. You wanna put your chest down, you can. Try to keep it lifted for that back extension though. Let's do two more on each side. Kick, kick. Kick, kick. All right, coming back up in that quadruplet. One more plank. Oh, oh yeah. Just holding it here. Neck is nice and long. We're gonna go in for three, two, one. Bring it back down. Come into a seated position. We're gonna go into a little rolling like a ball. So you wanna make sure to have some real estate behind you. Bending at the knees. If you want to um, grab underneath the knees to start, tuck that tail, bring your chin to chest. Just massage your back, rolling like a ball, coming back up to seated. I like to stack my spine nice and tall when I get to the top. That's just a personal preference for me to try and make my back nice and stable. But typically I believe they're usually in that C curve. Keep that chin to your chest, so it's almost like you're holding a peach. Between there. Ooh. Nice job. On the next one, we're gonna add, come on up, we're going into that teaser. Woo! almost didn't have it in me. You can modify and bend at the knees too, and then let those legs go long. All right, we're gonna add on here. Arms go overhead, legs lower, draw it in. Scoop the abs, bring it in. If this isn't feeling cool for you, just hold the teaser. We're gonna go in for three, two, bend at the knees. Slowly articulate your spine down, vertebrae by vertebrae, letting it massage onto the mat. Laying down, finding that neutral spine. Let's do a nice little figure four stretch here. So I'm gonna cross my right ankle over the left knee. Taking a nice inhale in. And exhaling it out. Even closing the eyes here if you want to. Taking another inhale in. And exhaling it out. Let's let the right leg go long, grabbing at the hamstrings. A lot of people like to grab at the knees, but just to keep it a little more safe, I like to grab it at the hamstrings. Finding that nice stretch, pointing the toe, flex the foot, point the toe. So let's just add a little calf muscle movement in. So I'm just holding my right leg tall, and then I'm bending and extending that foot.
Closing your eyes if you want to, keeping the shoulders relaxed, neck relaxed, just holding against that gravity, bending and flexing that toe. Let's go in for three, two, one. If you wanna let the left leg go straight, you can. We're just gonna do some nice big single leg circles here. Keeping the toe pointed, keep those hips squared off. Feels so good. Let's go in for three, two. Last one, hold at the top, reverse the circle. If you feel cracking at the hips, you can just try to uh, make the circle smaller. Or if you externally rotate that foot, sometimes that helps too. All right, we're gonna go in for three, two, one. Ooh, one last stretch. Hold that leg nice and high, grab behind the hammies. Letting that leg come down, or sorry, foot come down the mat. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh knife, right thigh now. And then we're just holding that stretch here for a moment. Closing the eyes if you want, taking a nice inhale in. And exhale it out. Letting that left leg go high to the sky, point the toes. Holding that nice stretch at the hamstrings or just below the knees. All right, letting that right foot come down and we're gonna add that leg circle here. Doesn't matter which side you want to start on, or sorry, which direction. Sweeping it in. Find that circle that works for you. So you might just want to draw a circle like a tennis ball or a plate or a big beach ball, whatever works for you. Listen to the body. All right, let's reverse the circle now. Keeping the eyes closed, we have our hips squared off, tailbone is weighted, shoulders relaxed. We're gonna do three, two, hold that leg up, take that last stretch here, pointing the toe. Let's flex that foot and point the toe again, so adding that flex in a point. Taking a nice inhales and exhales. Keeping those lungs nice and clean. All right, we're gonna go in for three, two, one. Let both legs come up. If you can find it, oh, I'm gonna try to go into open leg rocker, not necessary. I'm just trying to challenge myself a little bit more. So kind of rolling back and forth, finding that momentum to draw yourself back up. So this is like a variation of rolling like a ball pretty much. We're just adding that on, coming back up when you can. Ooh. All right. And you ladies are all done. Well, thank you so much for doing that and for teaching for us. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah, it's fun to teach. Um, I mean, most everyone I've taught has pretty much been in LA, or maybe like the mid. I've done some virtual stuff with people back home, but it's always fun to teach in other cities, and everybody has different styles and stuff. So it's fun to share and see what's out there. Yeah. Well, hopefully you can join us um, some more, and we'll just keep telling people to come in and join us. It's great to have such a variety and to get to know other people this way share ideas and thoughts. So we really appreciate everybody being here today. So thanks and hopefully we'll check in with you again next week. Yes, sounds good. I look forward to it. Great. Thank you for class. You're yes. welcome. I hope everybody enjoyed it and felt beautiful things. <laughs> yeah. Great. All right.